Hey uh, folks, so I just got this in the mail and I'm uh, pretty excited. Um, gonna see if we can't get it backlit and convert it over to rechargeable tonight. I got the uh, Dremel ready, I've got the soldering iron, I've got, you know, I've got everything. Because um, I'm gonna need to carve up the shell to be able to fit this bigger screen and to fit this bigger battery. We want to get rid of these junky alkalines. Um, so, let's get started, why don't we? No, I'm totally kidding. I'm not doing that. I don't have the heart to do something like that to this beautiful Game Boy. However, uh, I do have a big problem. These are some new batteries here, and, well, doesn't do shit. Doesn't turn on. As far as I can tell, it's not a dirty power switch, uh, because usually you can get it to turn on, you know, once in a blue moon, but I'm getting nothing. So I'm thinking there might be some actual issues with the board in this Game Boy. So we're gonna, I'm gonna tear it apart and see if we can't break into it, see what's going on. Um, my first clue as to why there might be some issues with the board are the fact that this battery contact is so corroded that it's actually broken off there. Uh, and there's some corrosion on both sides here. Uh, but before I get too deep into this thing, I do want to show you something pretty cool, only because, I mean, these consoles are super rare. They're, it's hard to find information on them. Um, I just picked this one up, what I think was uh, for a steal. Um, I've actually been keeping an eye out for eh, probably a year, year and a half or so. Uh, and I just finally picked one up, but it's taken me this long just because quite frankly they aren't even listed and when they are they're listed for an exorbitant amount of cash that I mean, yeah, they're cool, but they're not $350 cool in my opinion, but this is eh, As far as I can tell this is all original uh, As Nintendo sold them. This is a very special edition that they only sold in the uh, in Japan in the Tokyo Pokemon Center or I'm sorry I don't actually know if it's in Tokyo but either way super cool console super unique it has that shiny metallic blue front with that shiny metallic red back and it has these like lightish red pinkish kind of buttons I actually made a reproduction of it a little while back and yeah I now that I have both in hand I can tell how inaccurate this is, but I i mean, I knew that going in. It was never going to be perfect. I did the best I could with what I had, and yeah, I still like this one, and I'm still going to be using this one way more than I'll ever use this, but I still want to get this fixed so I can uh, you know, have an actual working display model. Um, I'm not going to get it fixed tonight, but I still want to get it torn apart and see what we need to do to fix it. Uh, I can always just swap the board in it. You know, I've got plenty of working Game Boys, but yeah, it's no fun. Plus, it takes away some of the some of what makes this console special. Um, but one of the first things I noticed when I was taking a look at this thing, and it's actually kind of cool because you don't really notice this in the pictures, but if you have one that's got some wear on it, you can really tell. These were actually made. Nintendo took new old stock of these Celebi models and um, painted them. So underneath this red paint and underneath this blue paint is this metallic green paint. And you can actually tell, if you take a look in here, like just look at the overspray. There's a little bit of overspray in the battery compartment. It's green in this. That's, that's just how these things are. It's green in here. I don't know, I just, I think it's super cool. Uh, sorry, I got a project coming up with this one. I gotta put the original membranes back in because originally I didn't have the correct membranes when I was refurbishing that. But anyway, I actually bought two of them. But you can look right by the uh, A button where there's a ton of where you can see the green paint underneath. I just think it's super fascinating because I never noticed that before in the pictures. So, you know, if you want to make your own, that might help you get started a little bit. And there's some red overspray on the inside that's, well, I mean, no one's ever going to see that unless you take it apart, but whatever. Set that aside. 
We'll try not to break that. And I gotta get this thing cleaned up, but first thing, I don't notice any signs of wear whatsoever on this board. So I don't know why it's not working. My only guess is that there's a ton of corrosion. Pull that out. So I probably got to get these... Well, that one looks fine. I got to get this battery contact removed and replaced because this thing is just awful. But quite frankly, just might need a cleanup. Let's double check and see if this fuse is bad. Got my uh, tool here. Let's set that to continuity. Double check it's working first. And this fuse is still good. Okay. So not the fuse. Let's check and see if it's the power switch. Oh. Well, it's probably the power switch then. There's absolutely, that is entirely too high resistance. Well, I thought this would be something interesting. Apparently, we just need to uh, clean the power switch on this thing. But that's no big deal. That's easy enough. Get the iron warmed up. Let's get it out of the case because this is one that I especially don't want to fuck up. Plus, I gotta take it apart. I wanna clean it anyway. It's easiest to do if it's bits. And we'll set that aside. This is what a limited edition Game Boy motherboard looks like. The exact same as any other. Ooh, there's some gunk in the speaker. So once we get this working, it might need a new speaker too. But that's also easy enough. We're going to set all this aside. Reduce my chances as much as possible. I really don't want to ruin this thing. Okay. You know what? Before we go even further, now that it's out of the case, let's just test it. See if we can get working now. Now that I can clip on some leads to a part of the battery terminal that isn't as corroded. Though based on the resistance, I don't think that's happening. The power switch at least, yeah. Oh, yeah, that is it. We got, I don't know how well you can see that, the red light. This should be showing up as a new battery, but there's just so much resistance. I don't think it's actually booting, but that's further than we got before. Alright. Soldering iron should be good and well enough warmed up. I'm not having any luck with the tweezers. I'm gonna go grab a knife, I'll be right back. All right, I got my uh, box cutter here. It's just something to shove in there to get a little bit of leverage. It is not coming up. No, it came out that time. Okay. All 
I apologize for the uh, symphony in the background. I keep meaning to print some, print out a part. And if I put it off until the end of the video, I'd forget again, so... Okay. Let's see what we've got here. Holy shit. So, what's, what's actually interesting about this is I haven't seen this power switch design in a GBA SP yet. Or, excuse me, a GBA. But, the contacts are just solid black there. So, let's... Get this thing cleaned up. I already have a cut cotton swab. And look at that. It's covered with carbon. I always make the most wonderful noises, don't I? Or I always bring you the most wonderful noises. Alright, so that ain't perfect, but it never really is. There's still quite a bit of corrosion on the offside, but I don't think that's a real big deal. Let's hit it one more time. Uh, I think we're going to be alright. Let's get this part now. What's interesting is the power switch is usually just solid black underneath here, but it doesn't look like it has any carbon buildup on it at all. I'm going to go ahead and bend those contacts up a wee bit. Let's get this stupid thing reinstalled. Right. Ah shit, this is directional and I was not paying attention. Also, my printer is making a sound that concerns me. I'm going to ignore it and hope it goes away. Speak of the devil. Did exactly that. I need to add a little bit of solder to this. Oh, there we go. There 
There we go. I bet we'll have no issues now. Let's try it out. And let's see how it works. Ha ha ha! Hey, like them apples. So I don't know why my power light's still red, but the way it's flickering makes me think it could just be bad contact on this uh, contact here. Because <laughs> uh, that still has a ton of corrosion on it and I haven't cleaned it up. But. Booting, we have sound, intermittent sound, I think that's the uh, potentiometer, or it could be the speaker, I don't know, but it does appear to be working, all my buttons seem to work. I picked a bad game to test L and R, but I can test L at least. Yeah, L still works. Okay. Well, I'm gonna get this unplugged here. And let's try see what's going on with the speaker. So the wires don't look or feel broken or anything. It could be potentiometer, but based on the fact that there's some uh, something in the speaker, I'm gonna go ahead and assume it is in fact the speaker. And I don't have another one to replace this with at the moment, so we're gonna leave that to uh, leave that for another time. Uh, let's go ahead and get these contacts desoldered here. I'm gonna... So. I wasn't paying attention, and as is wont to happen when I stop paying attention, the camera stops recording. Uh, anyway, I did go ahead and get that contact fully desoldered. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave this contact on there. I should probably get it desoldered because it looks like there's a hint of corrosion on the actual PCB itself right there, but I'll just go ahead and get that cleaned up later. The contact itself looks completely fine. I don't see any real corrosion, any real issues with that. Um, and I did get this desoldered. I did start cleaning it up, but of course, yeah, you know, I was doing that off camera. And now that I have it under the light, I'm not so sure that I'm happy with it. The spring came out. I didn't really focus on it. There's a big chunk of uh, rust, I guess, on both parts. That's probably why it wasn't working with batteries. The other part, of course, being that uh, power switch. But I don't know how to repair this, really, because there's a big chunk missing. I suppose I could try to like solder that together or something, but that's never going to hold. 
Uh, so I'm not even going to worry about cleaning it. In fact, this feels like it's just going to break off. Yeah, that broke off. So this, I've got this out. I've got it mostly cleaned up. There's some spots on the finish, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. I could solder this back in and uh, pull the spring itself off of a Wiimote. This looks like the exact same part, the spring anyway. And so you just get this off, you unhook the bottom, and then the whole thing slides out. And you can drop that in here. And that'll be good to go. Solder back on, and that should work just fine, but I just went ahead and desoldered another one from another Game Boy Color. And this, or excuse me, Game Boy Advance. And this one doesn't have um, a marred finish. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one soldered in. And I'm going to use the case from the Game Boy Advance to try and hold that contact in place. Insert that in there. And put that there. And we're just going to give it a healthy amount of solder. Come on. There we go. Doesn't have to be perfect. I think that's good enough, and I think that whole time I was out of focus, so I apologize. But whatever. Too late. No takesies, backsies. Okay. And uh, I said I didn't have a speaker, but as it turns out, I do. So I'm going to go ahead and desolder this one. I'll try this one out. This one doesn't look like it's in any better condition, but I know it works fine with no issues, so that'll at least help us rule out the speaker. Another thing I could try to rule out the speaker is if I uh, just hook up some headphones. And if it cut, cuts out on the headphones like it does on the speaker, well, then problem's not the speaker. But that's hot. But this is easy enough to try out. And there we go. I think I have everything repaired. Go ahead and pop it back in the case and try it out. Yeah, man. Of course, it wants to fight me. There we go. So, let me get the speaker in here. Oh, I forgot a step here. We want to pull this out. I'm going to try it with my tweezers, but usually a flathead's easier. I think that's going to work just fine, though. forgot about this part. This thing needs some cleanup too. But instead of cleaning that up, I'll clean that up later. There's some, still some corrosion in there. I'll just use this rear cover, which I was planning on sacrifice or salvaging for that part anyway. I'll just use this to test it out. And we'll try out some regular batteries. Let's see how that works. So, here goes nothing. 
Uh oh. This doesn't work on batteries. What did I do wrong? Those are facing the right way, they're both making contact. I broke it. Well, shoot. If nothing else, I'm back where I started. Let's try this thing again. Jeez. There we go. Yeah, still nothing. Oh, it's still the power switch. Because if I press on the power switch, it comes on. The harder I press, yeah. Okay, good news and bad news, I guess. Let me pull this apart. I'm tempted to just replace this power switch entirely. Unfortunately, I don't have anything to replace it with. Very least I can pull it again and see what's going on. Let's clean that up again. I don't have a lot of faith in this power switch. Maybe I just missed something the first time around. Maybe even I had that on backwards. Nah, because it doesn't fit. It only fits on the one way. Yeah. Well, if it works this time, I have no idea what I did differently. If it doesn't work this time, I'm just going to order another power switch and uh, we'll reconvene at that time.
now it's going to work flawlessly with zero issues. Just you watch. I'm inserting the game mostly just to hold the rear cover on. Uh-oh. That's not good. It should be on. Yeah, still nothing. something. I thought I heard something. Alright, well it looks like we're looking at a new power switch. At the very least, let's double check and see if we have working sound. Not intermittent sound. We have, I guess, intermittent sound because I don't hear anything. I'm guessing this needs a volume potentiometer or something. That's one hell of a shame. Okay. Well. I will go ahead and order a power switch. I will go ahead and order, I guess, a volume potentiometer. I mean, I can keep pulling parts off this other board. Here it is. But at some point... Oh, shit. Dropped my game and it hit my kitty. I'm sorry, buddy. At some point you gotta sit and ask yourself, you know, is it worth it to keep throwing parts at this thing? Or, you know, at what point are you just gonna put a new motherboard in it and call it a day? This flux is going to be the easiest way. Oh shit. That was exactly what I didn't want to happen. So now I gotta clean this thing. Luckily, it's just a little bit. Okay. Now, hopefully it'll go in there. I'm 
not having a good time with this. There we go. The other one went together so much easier. speaker back in there too. It's got something in it, but it still seems to work fine otherwise. And let's try it out. Now, this time, it's going to work just perfectly with zero issues. Oh, that's right, I dropped my game. We'll do not Skyrim. And... Da, 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 da. Oh, it's Mario Kart. I genuinely thought that was a video. I forgot to reflash that. Okay, well, there we go. It works. I guess I'm just going to go ahead and finish cleaning up all the parts and uh, order up a new potentiometer and a new power switch for this motherboard and... When I get those parts, I'll go ahead and fix this motherboard. We'll put it back in here, and that should be that. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. So, I was just finishing cleaning up, putting all my parts together so I don't have the screws and just random Game Boy Advance parts laying around. This is the donor console, right? This is the one that I pulled the battery contacts from and then ended up putting the original motherboard in. And I put it together, and it's working perfectly now. So I guess I don't need a new volume wheel or power switch. I don't know. It's like it's just... I don't know why it was giving me so much trouble while I was trying to get it to work in the other console. Like, I don't even have a red light. It's... It just works flawlessly. There's this other one that I um, been meaning to get to. This one needs a little bit of work. Basically, I think it just needs a power switch cleaning, but I don't know. It's just it's it's magic. I tell you. Put everything together. It was giving me so much hassle on camera earlier, and now everything just works. So, I don't know, because it was giving me trouble, I'm still going to replace the volume wheel and the power switch on this one, even though it's working perfectly right now. Yeah, like, that's so frustrating, but 
Well, there we go. I have three working Game Boys. I started with enough parts to only make two working Game Boys, and now, well, your guess is as good as mine. Um, yeah, I guess I'm still going to replace the parts in this one, the power switch and the volume wheel. But... I'm just blown away that it was giving me so much trouble and now it's working perfectly. 